Hi guys. So today my project is to replace this pump. It's making a lot of noise at times. Uh, right now it doesn't seem like much, but at times it makes a whole lot of noise and you could hear it all the way upstairs. So I'm gonna get this pump replaced. Uh, so I got the gas shut up guy. Uh, I think the furnace has, uh, it could be leaking a bit, or maybe just residual. Uh, but since it's not being used anymore, well, it's summer right now, so it's not being used, so I have a shut off. I'm gonna shut this whole thing off anyway. Alright, let's get it started. Okay, so now I have the furnace shut off. What I'm gonna do is shut off some of the recirculation valves. So this will isolate the water from upstairs. Guess I need to drain off the water to replace the valve. So it will be all these isolation valves. Then once I finish with that, I will connect the hose to this uh, drain off valve right here. I could drain it off from there. Okay, so now I got all the valves uh, shut off. Uh, hose connected. I'm gonna open up the hose and let it drain out. Right, the hose is uh, Place inside a floor drain so I have to worry about it uh, flooding out. Yeah, so my next task is to remove this the connection for the pump. Okay, so let's see. As you can see the wiring is pretty simple. Just uh, black to black, white to white, and green, and that's it. So it's constantly on. Okay, so now the wire's off. I'm gonna take these uh, nuts off so I can pull the pump out. I put a rag on the bottom, just, uh, just in case there's any wire that fill, uh, it will cover up some of the uh, dedicated, uh, dedicated electronics. Yeah, I could hear the air hissing out, so that's fine. Let it hiss out, drain everything else out, then I will continue. Okay, as I was loosening the nuts, I uh, felt the uh, the motor like dropping because of heavy, how heavy it is. So what I did, I just uh, tie a rope, uh, so it's supported by the pipe, so it doesn't fall down. Well, doesn't fall down straight or directly. Uh, once I finish loosening up all the nuts. Okay, all the nuts has been loosened. Uh, so I could just pull out the bolts right now, the nuts all removed. And this thing is still tied on to help support it. Right. So what I'm gonna do, remove this bolt. And then, I'm going to loosen the 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 rope that I used to tie this thing up. Loosen it. Because now I got it all out. I need to remove it so I got good control of it right now. Okay. So I got the rope off. Now I can put my arm underneath, take out the bolts, my arm and my leg, my leg supporting it also. 
With those out, I should be able to snap it right out. Hopefully. Hopefully. It's a bit frictional. goes the baby. Right. So that's the old pump. I'm gonna put it away. Okay. And now I'm gonna put a new seal on. And with a new seal goes in like this. Stick it on the pump. It could be a better positioning if it stays. Let's see. Anyway, so I got the rope on the new pump. Try to put the seal on. Let's see if it will stay. If not, I'm gonna have to stick it on the piping first. Yeah, this is the hard part because the seal is rubber. Doesn't really need to be moved. Yeah, all these puppies are get very narrow space to wiggle. Taking it up was a, was a challenge. There's no space to wiggle. Alright, let's try something else. Let's see if I could grease it. Thing doesn't want to go in like this. Alright, let's try to grease it. Well, going in is gonna be tough. Bottle. Where did I put that new bolt? Alright, let's put the new bolts on. That way it doesn't slide out of place. Should hold. It should hold. need the rope after all. Okay. But you know what? I'm gonna use the rope to balance out the weight. See if it will balance. Yeah, much better. The weight's more distributed. The rope is acting as a hoist. It does hurt. It doesn't hurt. Maybe I don't need it, but it doesn't hurt. Okay. 
the, with the bigger motors, you're gonna have to use a hoist or something like that, which is basically the same idea. Rope. That's what it's for. A hoist. Alright. Let's see if these wrenches fit. Yes, they don't fit. Different size nuts, huh? Alright, let's go find the correct wrench. Problem with one of the nut, well, one of the bolt, because this place, the, uh, the bolt that originally come with it is too long, so it was hitting the side. So I had to cut it to shorten it. So now it's going to fit. Place. Oh, good place to work. Alright, let's see. Let's try to tighten them all up. going the wrong way. Right. Let's go back that way. Go back that way. Back that way. Get back that way. Right. So let's see. This room. Yeah. So all the screws tightened. That's a bolt. I'm gonna loosen this loop. Doesn't do much anymore after the first nut was tightened. Just gonna remove this. Okay, so I'm gonna set up the uh, my garden hose drain. I'm gonna try to fill this. See if it uh, nicks. Hopefully, there's no nick. Okay, no nicks. That's good. So I'm gonna connect this pump. The electrical portion of the pump. Get my screwdriver. So so far so good. I fill in the water. The pump seal is holding. No nicks I see. Except for the water splash that was uh, that was there before the nuts were tightened. Let me clean up this one little spot. Oh, that's not even wet. 
Okay. Snow White. Alright. This one's screwed. Wiring seems to be the same as previous one. Black and white and green. Alright. Straightforward. this no bit right. so that's the ground wire let's try to install the ground wire first White and black will be more added. Pigtail, whatever you want to call. More added. Pigtail. Dragon, doggy tail, whatever. As long as they're connected, it's good. So after I connect this, I will turn all the valves on and we fill the system and I have the pump running. Okay, time to test it all out. It's connected, valves are open even though it's not uh, fully uh, filled because there's still air in the system. I gotta breathe it upstairs somewhere. Let's see. Turn it. Yeah, so that's another water circulation sound. So, but the new pump is working. When I got the time, I'm gonna to uh, refill all the water, make sure all the air is cleared up, and everything should be fine. All right. Okay. So the pump I just replaced was the uh, Armstrong S. 25 so come with a motor and the impeller so the uh, everything was not too hard it was pretty easy except for one bolt right here but uh, when you put it in let's see when, when you put it in it hits it and goes sideways so you will not tighten properly uh, so that's why I had to, uh, had to cut it. I had to cut off a portion of it just for it to fit. Other than that, everything is pretty easy. Alright guys, thank you very much.